What's going on folks? Josh here with Shua Photography. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Nikon Z8 and how much space you're gonna need for all of the different video functions on this camera. So I have this Sabrent 512 gigabyte CF Express Type B card that's 1700 megabytes per second transfer speed. Now the reason I wanted to do this video was because number one, I wanted to do it for myself, but I thought it might be interesting to some of you out there who are looking at the Nikon Z8. Now, the other day I was doing a test shoot for a jujitsu gym and I went into the video settings and I went to try and see about setting up 8K footage on this camera just to see and I noticed on all of the Nikon cameras when you look at the screen up top here it gives you a countdown of how many photos you have left or how much time you have left in video and I noticed when I was doing 8K or trying to set up 8K it said I only had 17 minutes of filming time in 8K so what I decided to do and I thought others would be interested as well is what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go through every single one of the video settings on this camera with this memory card in it and see how much time I will have on this 512 gigabyte card so that maybe it'll help you figure out how much space you're gonna need when using this Nikon Z8. I'm not a videographer, but it is nice to have the video capabilities of this. I was photographing a firefighter ball this weekend and there was a time in that event where I thought it would be great to film, so I did. So I was able to test out some super low light video footage. I was using the Tamron 35 millimeter to 150 millimeter F2 to 2.8 with this camera handheld at 150 millimeters and the stabilization was incredible. So the fact that this camera is going to give me and make it easier for me to film, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a little more film as I am shooting events and just give a little bit extra or do a little bit more for my clients. So let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the card in here. I'm gonna format it. We'll be starting from scratch. Come in here. And we're going to format the memory card, the CF Express. We're gonna go ahead and do a full format so that there's nothing else left on here. So I'm gonna do a full format. Yes. And then yes. All right, so in order to get 8K, we're gonna have to come up here into the video recording menu, and we're gonna have to come down to our video file type. We've got our NRAW, ProRes RAW, and ProRes 422 HQ. So you've got your 12 bits here and your 10 bit down here. Uh, I was shooting with the ProRes 422 HQ 10 bit uh, because it does give you a little more information. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go to ProRes, sorry, we'll start with NRAW, gives you a little notification. Alright, so now you'll see our frame size and frame rate. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to just go into my iMenu now and go from here. So this is 8K 60p in the Nikon NRAW. And let's see what it says up here that we have available. You'll see here 11 minutes. With NRAW 8K, we will have 11 minutes total of filming time. Now, let's go ahead and see what 8K 50 is going to say. So 8K 50 says we're gonna have 13 minutes. 8K 30, 19 minutes. 8K 25, 23 minutes. 8K 24, 24 minutes. Now we go down into 4K 120. 
So 4K and raw, 120 frames per second, we get 18 minutes. 4K 100, 22 minutes. 4K 60, 37 minutes. 4K 50, 45 minutes. 4K 30, 50. 1 hour and 15 minutes. 4K 25, 1 hour 29 minutes. 4K 24, 1 hour 30 minutes. Now we'll go to 5.4K 60, 22 minutes. 5.4K 50, is 26 minutes. 5.4K 30 is 45 minutes. 5.4K 24, 55 minutes. 3.8K 120, 21 minutes. 3.8K 100, 25 minutes. So those are all of our settings for NRAW. So now we'll go back into our menu. We're gonna go to our video file type. We're gonna go, go to ProRes RAW. So ProRes. All right, so the highest we can get with ProRes RAW is 4K60. That will give us 14 minutes. 4K50, 17 minutes. 4K30, 29 minutes, 4K25, 34 minutes, 4K24, 36 minutes, 5.4K, 30, 17 minutes, 5.4K25, 20 minutes. 5.4K24, 21 minutes. 3.8K, 60. 16 minutes. 3.8K, 50. 20 minutes, 4.1K 60, That's, we're back to the front, okay. So now we'll go into our ProRes 422HQ. So 4K60 in ProRes 422HQ, 4K60 gives us 33 minutes, 4K50, 39 minutes, 4K30, 1 hour and 6 minutes. 4K25, 1 hour 19 minutes, 
4K 24, 1 hour 22 minutes, 1080 120, 1 hour and 6 minutes, 1080 100, 1 hour and 19 minutes, 1080 60, 2 hours and 12 minutes, and 1080 50, 2 hours 37 minutes. So that's what we've got for ProRes 422HQ. So now we'll go to our video file type, H.265 10 bit. So we've got 8K 30, 2 hours 21 minutes. AK25, 2 hours 21 minutes, AK24, 2 hours 21 minutes, AK120, 2 hours 21 minutes. 4K100, 2 hours 21 minutes. 4K60, 2 hours 49 minutes. 4K50, 2 hours 49 minutes. 4K30, 5 hours, 4K24, 5 hours as well, 1080 120, 5 hours as well. Looks like 5 hours is going to be our limit on the top of the camera here. So. Let's go into the file type again. See what we've got. So H.264, 8-bit, 8-bit. But if you're gonna be doing video with this Nikon Z8, you're not gonna want to be filming in 8-bit. So I think I'm gonna stop there at the 10 bits. So obviously 12-bit raw is, you know, going to take up a lot more information than what the 8 bits are going to. So that was what I wanted to test. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this video, putting all of those specs. So I'm gonna put the NRAW, the ProRes RAW, ProRes 422HQ and all of that on the screen here and the frame rate and the times allotted on the card. So hopefully this is gonna give you a much better idea of what size CF Express card you're going to want for your use case and what frame rates and resolutions you're going to want to film at when you're doing that. Obviously, if you're out running and gunning, you don't want to fill up an entire 500 gigabyte card with 11 minutes of 8K and raw footage, right? So I think I'm going to stick with the either the H.265 10-bit or the ProRes 422HQ 10-bit uh, for doing any video. I'm not a videographer, but it is nice to have the video capabilities of this. So this is the Nikon Z8 and how much you can fit in a 512 gigabyte CF Express Type B card. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm gonna be doing a full-blown review on this after I really put it through its paces. I've only had it for now two weeks. I have a shoot tomorrow with some gymnasts, so I'm gonna be testing out the slow-mo video, the high frame rate shooting on this camera for stills, and see how this thing performs and tracks and all of that good stuff. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you want to keep track of this Nikon Z8 in my hands, and I'll talk to you guys later.
This is Josh with Shua Photography. Have a great one.